Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you are watching a brand new video review of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks, where I'm going to be doing episode seven of Promise Neverland. But before I get into that review, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to our channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified whenever we have new videos here on the channel. So let's go ahead and get into episode seven of Promise Neverland season two. So the episode starts off with Emma, Ray, and Norman still in the hideout of Norman's place. And Norman, he talks more about Mujica and how she's the evil blood demon and how her blood was able to keep the demons in human form without them needing to feed on humans. And Norman, he's like, we need to kill her because with her still being alive, it causes a problem for uh, Norman's plan, his demon extinction plan that he has going on. We find out more about Mujica's past where, because like I said, with the blood that she has, she was able to feed a whole village by the other demons drinking her blood and they were able to keep their demon form, their demon like human like forms without needing to eat humans. But the demon king, he was just like, uh uh, we're not going to keep doing that. So he ends up killing all of the people in the village that uh, Mujik, that had drank Mujika's blood. And it was believed that she was killed as well. But by Emma telling Norman that she's still alive and that they're friends with her and that her and Sonju helped them out when they were out in the wild, um, Norman's just like, okay, well, she still needs to be killed. And Emma reveals that the reason why she came to see Norman was she doesn't want to go through with the plan, like I said on last week's review. And she thinks that the demons and the humans can exist in the world together. They can coexist. And I understand why Norman wants to kill the demons because he went to Lambda and pretty much they were running experiments on him and the rest of his crew that we saw on last week's episode, on episode six. So Emma, she tells him that she wants the demons and the humans to live in the same world together and she tells norman to give her 10 days so that way that she can go and find mujica and sonju and pretty much bring them back to norman so that way they can come up with a plan where all the demons can drink mujica's blood so that way that they don't need to feast off of humans anymore and norman he's reluctant sorry not reluctant he's reluctant on allowing this to happen but he agrees to Emma's terms and he says instead of 10 days I'll give you five days so Emma she says that she's going to find them and Ray is going to tag along with her to go and find Sonju and Mujika and it's like when this was going on it's like there's just something about Norman that I don't trust right now there's something about him that I don't like um, you got to remember, he was the smartest kid at the Gracefield farmhouse. So, um, you know, I can understand why Emma will believe him because, you know, that's her older brother. And they leave. They leave. Uh, we also see uh, this tall man, uh, and he is wearing a, a paper bag on top of his head, and he has red eyes. I don't know if um, the experiments that were performed on him at Lambda and if he has like demon eyes or something that's that's what I'm assuming that they are or if they're just drawn on to the bag because his face is messed up so um, they end up leaving and they go back to the temple and when they get to the temple they Emma and Ray they talk with the rest of the siblings and tell them what's happening and how Norman wants to kill everybody with the experiment that he has and they need to find Sonju and Mujika within five days. And while this conversation is going on, we see Norman talking with his crew and he lets them know that Emma doesn't want the demons to be killed. And this pisses off Sazi because like we saw in last week's episode, like she doesn't think that demons deserve to live. And I understand why they feel the way that they feel because they had all these experiments ran on them and whatnot. And plus they're demons. It's like for as long as we've been watching this anime, 
the demons are the bad guys. They eat humans and the humans are on these farms where they are made just for the demons to eat. So I understand why you have your humans who, uh, you know, want the demons to die. And then you have Emma's group that want the humans to live. I'm really getting uh, a civil war vibe here, like uh, with um, the Marvel stuff where you have Captain America and you have Iron Man. And it's like, they all want the same thing, but there are two different sides of a coin. So it's very interesting what's going on right here. And Norman, he does reveal to his crew that he's not going to, uh, you know, go with the deal that he made with Emma. And that as soon as they get the the blood, the blood, um, the evil blood demon, Mujica, he's going to kill her. And we see like some other stuff here at Norman's uh, in the basement. Uh, we see a demon that they've been experimenting on. We see uh, like demons, body parts and jars and whatnot. And um, also Zazie, she ends up having a seizure uh, and they call it the Lambda seizure. And I'm assuming that this is because of the experiments that were done to them. And, you know, she's sitting there beating up a jar with uh, part of a demon inside of it. And she said that she knew that that's what Emma was coming to the house for. And it's like, you know, she knew, you know what I'm saying? So um, going back to the temple, um, Gilda, she is reluctant on going with Emma and Ray and the rest of the crew to find them because she thinks that the demons need to be killed too. But Don is just like, no, you know, I'm glad that you're telling us this. We're going to go with you. The rest of the siblings, they were on board. And after Emma and Ray, they talked with Gilda. Gilda, she said that she was going to go as long as she could keep Emma from getting in any danger. So, you know, I'm glad that the siblings are sticking together because they do have that family bond. And I just feel bad because it's like they're walking into something to, you know, try and make it better for the humans and the demons whereas norman and his crew are just like nah we're going to kill all of them so it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen whether mujica and sonju do go back with them to norman or if norman and his crew are going to end up finding finding them on their own and then trying to kill them right then and there so pretty interesting episode uh, i enjoyed it uh you know a lot of dynamics going on with both sides with emma's team and norman's team i uh, can't wait to see like what's going to happen between them like once this all blows up uh, i want to see what's going to happen with sonju and mujica like how are they going to react to this uh you know I, I understand where emma's coming from where it's like you know some of these demons are kids and you know some of these demons are like good people you know the old man that helped them and gave them food when they were in the temple I don't think that that old man is blind, the, the old demon. I don't think that he's blind. I think that he does know that they are humans because uh, they don't have their uh, their costumes on and whatnot. And I'm sure that he can smell them. And the humans, they have a distinct smell to them. So I, I know that he knows. So it just goes to show you that there are good demons out there. And I can't wait to see next week's episode. We also see at the end what happens when Norman is leaving the Gracefield farm. And when the door opens up, we hear a voice inside and he says, Norman, come inside. And like, that's how the episode ends. I hope that we see who the person is. I kind of have a feeling that it's Mr. Minerva. And speaking of Mr. Minerva, Norman told Emma and Ray that Mr. Minerva is dead. I feel like that Norman isn't being uh, truthfully honest with them. Um, I mean, like a, we saw, he said that he's going to kill Mujica and Sonju. So um, it's going to be very interesting seeing what's going to happen next. And uh, with that being said, that's the end of this review. Uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the episode. I hope that uh, that you've been keeping up with the reviews that I've been doing, and I hope that you've been enjoying them. Uh, like this video. Hop in the comment section. Let's talk about this week's episode. Like, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, do you think that there's going to be a big fight between Emma's team and Norman's team? Uh, as Sonju and Mujica, what's going to happen with them? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about this week's episode. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and make sure that you hit that bell button so that way that you're always notified when there's a new video out. And make sure that you follow me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, at KingBenji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. And you can find me on Facebook by typing in Benjamin Banks 
I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg and make sure that you donate to us if you're feeling generous at our Patreon at Leveling Up Banks. And we release new podcast episodes every Tuesday. I'll have the link in the description. And the video review or interview for that episode is up on Friday. Make sure that you check out some of our other videos. We've been reviewing Black Lightning and Superman and Lois just aired and we did a review for that as well. And Trav, he has his video reviews up for The Last Ronin and he's gonna be doing some more comic video reviews. And uh, always check out our WandaVision reviews. We have a new video coming out tomorrow and we are going to have a guest with us mr danny kramer he's joining us and uh his episode is coming out the following tuesday so thank you again for supporting our channel thank you again for watching our videos and hopping in the comment section with us and talking with us so with that being said i'll see you next time keep that pinky up and uh always stay positive and smile peace be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and get notified every time we upload a new one by subscribing and ticking the bell icon. You can also listen to the full episode by searching for Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks on your favorite podcast app. If you'd like to help support more great content like this, be sure to check us out on Patreon. We'll have the link posted in the description below. Thanks for listening and see you on the next episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks.